Yeah, I may fucking regret doing this. Woo! Hey there, Cosmonauts. So we are gonna do another cooking with cause, and today what we are gonna do is fried chicken. And I hope you guys appreciate the will the length I'm willing to go to bring you semi-quality entertainment. Um, so yeah, it's like nearly a hundred degrees out, and I am about to deep fry food inside. Like normally I wait until the sun goes down to do any sort of cooking at night, but to get it on video, I have to do it this time of day. All right, so what I started off with was 10 pounds of uh, chicken that uh, I got from the United States Department of Agricultural Commodities. Uh, there are probably commodities in every single area of the United States, you should check it out. Anyways, they gave everybody 10 pounds of chicken and uh, it's legs and thighs, so I separated the legs and thighs. And then I got that soaking in uh, a half a gallon of uh, buttermilk, um, and that's called a brine, and this is soaking, making sure things are nice and tender. Now, if you wanted to make it spicy, you could put uh, hot sauce in there, but I have people coming over this evening that don't necessarily like spicy food, so, I am skipping a lot of that stuff and just making it kind of, I want to say, simple. Anyways, so we're going to start out with three cups of uh, white flour, all-purpose flour. In that, we're going to mix in a little bit of cumin. Um, we're going to do... Uh, a Hawaiian black salt. Little black pepper. Right. A little garlic powder in there. Tiny bit of cayenne, just a hint. Nothing too outrageous. Uh, a little bit of cornstarch. This helps it to stick to everything. So, anyways, let's mix all that together. Put a little bit more of everything in there. Right. And instead of the black salt, this time let's add some of the Himalayan pink salt. Fancy, fancy we are. Uh, and again. Do you want to season this so that it's got some flavor to it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, yes, uh, the flour is the part that's going to give you the crunchiness, and same with the, the cornstarch, but you do want to flavor it. So. And we're going to slowly take up pieces, kind of one at a time, make sure that they did get thoroughly covered and if they didn't get covered covered pull it out and then we'll let it toss it in there
right so yeah look at that that's how they came out of the out of there and you know you would think we were done uh, as far as the batter would go but you are incorrect <coughs> what we're gonna do next is put it in an egg wash and then dip it in some more uh, crust type stuff this stuff is gonna have some uh, breadcrumbs uh, as well as some Parmesan cheese in it so it should make it yummy 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 but we need to get some oil going so PayPal so he can buy himself something to eat Then he won't have to sell his body to Albanian men on the street Where broke hippies living out in the desert No money and no shoes And he may smoke the marijuana But at least he won't spend it on booze If you enjoy Kaz's videos with their off the grid DIY